okay so now in this video we will be actually creating a room so just simply go ahead and open up your launcher script and at the top as you know that now we will be dealing with the ui so make sure that you add using unity engine dot ui at the top and then right here we need a reference to that uh, input field okay uh, in which we will be typing the room name so we're gonna say public or oh, let's just say serialized field okay we can make this serialized field in order to add some security okay so serialized field input field and we're gonna name this as room name input field okay then once we have a reference to that now we can create a room so we will create a public word method by the name of create room okay and in here we're gonna say that if string dot is null or empty so it means that if this room input field is not null nor empty okay then what we're gonna do actually it means that if it is null or empty okay not null or empty I mean you get it if it is not null or empty I mean if it is null or empty okay why I am confusing in this so if it is a null or empty then we just simply gonna say return because uh, if there is no name enter then we don't want to create a room but if the name is entered then what we're going to do we're going to create a room so we're gonna say uh, photon network dot create room Okay, this create room is not our create room method this is a photon network method okay and this method require a string and that string is a room name so for that we're gonna pass our own room name whatever the player enters in that input field okay and once we pass that it will uh, create a room and of course it's gonna take uh, a minute or two or actually few seconds if you say so while the room is creating we will be going to show a loading menu or loading screen okay because we don't want the player to uh, do anything okay we just want the player to wait so we're gonna say menu manager dot instance dot open menu and we want to open the loading menu okay so now what this method will do it will basically create a room and as you know that when a room is created we want the player to automatically join that room okay and also when the player and if any other player click on find room button and uh, then join our room then we want that player to join our room as well okay but for now we don't have any players so let's actually uh, uh, create a method for joining the room okay so whenever we create a room after this we want to join that room okay so what we gonna do right here is we gonna create a public override world by the name of on joined room Okay. and in here what we're gonna do whenever we join a, a room we will say menu manager dot instance dot open menu and we want to open the room menu okay this one in which uh, we will be showing the room name the player list item in the middle and the start and leave room button okay and as you know this uh, room name is room menu 
So we're gonna type room menu. After this, if there were any errors occurred while creating the room, okay, so we're gonna show that error as well in the error text area. So we're gonna say on create room failed. Okay, this is gonna require a short which will be return code and a string which will be let's name this as message or error message and in here whenever uh, uh, this uh, method is called we want to open up the error menu okay so i'm gonna just copy that paste right here and change this to error menu okay now we also want to show the room name and the uh, the uh, error in the text area but for now let me test it out if it shows any error or not i think the code is clean okay as we guessed it now let's go ahead and add our references to both of that things okay for showing the error message and the room name so we're going to create a serialize field it will be of type text room, uh, room name text and copy it paste it down below and this gonna be the error text okay now we want to show these two so on the on joined room what we're gonna do we're gonna say a room name text dot text equals to the photon network uh, dot current room dot name okay so whatever is the photon network room name it will be equals to the room name text area okay and for the error text what we're gonna do we're gonna say error text dot text equals to you're gonna say room generation unsuccessful okay and at the end we gonna show the uh, error message so error message let me actually make this e small and this m capital okay so now uh, as you know that we have two buttons the start game and the leave room uh, button okay so for now we will not be starting a game but we are gonna make the leave room button uh, workable okay so for that let's uh, create a method by the name of leave room and for leaving the room we are gonna say photon network dot leave room okay and then when we are leaving the room we're gonna first of all show the loading screen so if there are any loading we're gonna show the loading screen so menu manager dot instance dot open menu we want to open the loading menu okay after this we're gonna uh, create another method which will be on left room and whenever we left the room we're gonna go back to our 
title menu on which we have the find room create room and quit game buttons okay so menu manager dot instance dot open menu and we want to open the title menu okay simple as that and i think we are now good to go so let's first of all start from here so whenever we click on this create a room button we going to call a method so let me add a canvas in there and from here go inside the menu manager dot open uh, menu oh, okay this one open menu menu okay make sure that you add that to this one so when we create a room we will be uh, redirected to create a room menu now so let me close this and open up create room menu okay and create room menu right here as you know we have the create room button and the room name so if you click on canvas right here we need to provide the room name input field so drag and drop that then after this uh, on the whenever we then type a name and click on create room we're gonna now call another method so drag and drop the canvas in there and this time go inside launcher and find the method which is create room uh, okay here it is create room okay so now when we click on it it gonna create a room okay now so when we create a room now we're gonna show the room name right here so click on canvas again and as you know it needs the room name text so drag and drop the room name text and then the error text as well so if you open that up drag and drop the error text and now in here the start game button will be uh, empty for now because we will not be starting the game uh, right now but we're gonna work on this uh, leave room button so on the leave room button click that drag and drop the canvas and now on the launcher select the leave room method here it is okay leave room okay that is it so now everything is set up okay make sure that the loading menu is enabled by default let's play the game as you can see it is showing the loading menu okay so now we are connected now if you click on create room all right it is showing an error unity object cannot be converted to type menu okay i think uh, we on the create room menu actually not this one the title menu let me see right here on the create room button uh, right here we forgot to add our menu okay let me open up this title menu okay whenever we click this button the reason it was showing that error because this menu is empty because we forgot to add the create room menu right there so make sure that you drag and drop that in there okay and when you do that then let's go ahead and test it out again so let's click on create room now as you can see we are right here create room menu is active let's create a room by the name of early shapes room click on create okay when we click on create it is showing create room failed client is on game server must be master server for matchmaking and ready wait for callback okay let me see now why this is happening so if we click on the canvas right here as you can see we added the loading menu title menu but we forgot to add the other menus okay for example the create room menu so let's drag and drop that then the room menu and then the error menu okay 
so make sure that you do this okay and then let's go ahead and play the game again so it is showing connecting to master now let's wait for it to connect to a server it is connected now let's click on create room okay here it is let's create now Alicia's room again now as you can see it shows the loading screen and right here we are in a room now which is Alicia's room okay we can't start the game but we can leave the room as you can see and now we can go ahead and create another room as test and now we are inside test okay so now we can create rooms okay and with this done let's end this video right here